When tossing and catching a small ball in one hand while dribbling in the other hand, your primary focus will naturally be on the hand that you are trying to catch the small ball with. So if that is the case, then what are you looking at? Exactly, the basketball. Here's a golden nugget for you. Every player is on a dribbling list. You are either on the no dribble list or the dribble list by your coach. The coach might say that you are a rebounder, which means that of course you are not on the dribble list. To be on the dribble list, you first need to be able to dribble with your head up, and this drill gives you that strength. The first phase is stuck in the mud and is part of the younger player's workout. The second phase of learning how to turn and face and shoot is step into it. Player receives ball with palms up, making sure they securely catch it without ball touching chest. As they are receiving the ball, player turns and faces hoop and shoots on balance. Then they backpedal a couple steps back to the lane line and repeat. Make sure to do both sides. To get a quick release shot, remember that right away when your second foot touches down, then shoot. A couple of hints. You can already have your lead pivot foot angled toward the hoop and not towards the passer for a quicker pivot. The object of this game, because it is more of a game than a drill, is to be able to feel comfortable dribbling the ball when squared up at a defender. The player with the ball can't move his feet. They need to stay positioned in a wide basketball stance on a designated line the whole time. If his or her feet move, then the other player gets to be the dribbler. Also, if the ball gets stolen, then you switch positions as well. This drill also helps your quickness on your dribble speed. When doing stationary dribbling drills on your own, players tend to be dribbling at a speed that they are comfortable with, which is much slower than game speed. This is a reactionary drill that helps players dribble on instinct rather than on a prescribed dribble. When the dribbler is attacking at full speed, they do not know which arm is going to go up and the object is that they need to do a dribble move to get under the arm and then finish to the hoop. To get more reps, come back the other way. Going under the arm gets the dribbler to get lower than the defense. This is the first shooting game that I've seen that focuses on having a soft touch on your shot. It is a two ball rapid fire shooting game that we call baseball. The rebounder is like a first baseman and the first base is directly under the hoop. The first baseman can only take one large step to get a rebound as if they are being thrown a baseball from the shortstop to get the base runner out. The first baseman has to keep a foot on the bag. If the rebounder needs to move both feet on a rebound, then the shooter gets a strike and then three strikes and the shooter is out. Your goal is to see how many shots you can get without getting a strike and also how many shots you can get before you strike out. If the shooter hits front rim and the ball goes right back to them, then the rebounder passes the second ball right away and now the shooter has two balls and is automatically out. Also, if the passer makes a pass that is off the mark to the shooter, then the opposite happens and it is a ball. Four bad passes in the same game means the shooter gets to go again as if he was walked in a baseball game. If it sounds too complicated, watch the video of this drill without commentary. Players will improve rapidly on shooting soft with this drill. I guarantee it. This is Cooper Shear. He's a freshman at St. Francis High School in Watsonville, 15 years old former Basketball Jones Camper of the Week, and I brought Cooper in specifically for a workout. This workout he's gonna do is beyond a lot of kids his age, or even what this program is for, the 12 and up, but I just wanted kids to know how hard you need to work out to be the best. Working out your core, which is the midsection of your body, is a must for basketball players. Having a strong core will help with all phases of being on balance on the basketball court. Next time you watch a game, focus on how many times a player could be off balance, but they seem to stay on balance. Here are some must-do drills for your core muscles.
Now you have a band that incorporates strength. You want to multitask when you do drills. Do a couple different things. His chin is above his shoulders. He doesn't look down at the ground. He knows court sense where lines are. Court sense and court awareness are big facets to basketball players. Big thing on defense is, is getting your hands up, hands down, go to town, or hands down, man down. They shoot right over you. You close out with the arm up, get a hand up in the pass the lane. Even when they dribble, you can have one hand down, one hand up. And now he's gonna do the workout with no gadgets. As fast as he can, he's gonna count how many touches he can touch with his hand on each lane line. And then he's gonna have a goal the next time that he does this. This is the McHale drill for Kevin McHale invented this. Former Boston Celtic legend, University of Minnesota. What he's trying to do here is two tip ins with one hand and get 10 in a row and then tip it in on the 10th one for a layup. He gets three tries with his, he's going with his left first, three tries. If he doesn't get it, that's it. He has to go to the other side. Yes, now he's going right. He did it on a second try. I know last time he did not get this one. Four, five, six. Last time we worked out a week ago, he didn't get either of these. Ooh. Okay, he's gonna toss the ball off the backboard. Then he's gonna rebound it and he's gonna pivot to the outside. And that's when I'm gonna get him in the stomach as he's pivoting, get him a couple shots in the stomach. This is uh, Ed Maddock from Fresno City, Ed the Animals Drill. Again, get your elbows out when you rebound, you chin the ball, just like it's a real basketball. With, although it's a heavy trainer, although this weighs 15 pounds, you still chin the ball, rip it through. You wanna pivot, you wanna jump stop wide and low so you don't get knocked on your butt. Kids, don't pivot short. Don't pivot small, pivot wide and low so you don't get knocked on your butt. This is called the one minute drill. What you're focused on is basically the, ba the most basic fundamentals are jump stopping, pivoting, and your one-on-one -on -one moves, a good shot fake. On your shot fake, you wanna come down lower. That's the difference. A lot of kids shot fake and they come out of their stance on a shot fake, but you actually wanna drop down lower and get underneath the defense. So he's gonna drop a little lower as he shot fake. So drop a little lower as you shot fake. Nice. And then he's low enough to get under the defense's hand. Again, our motto is we live low. Again, what he's doing right now is he's focused on a spot to touch. So he's not looking at the ball because he's, he's focused on touching the wall. A lot of parents go, don't look at the ball, don't look at the ball. Give them a phrase, a reference. And the reference is chin above shoulders. Get your chin up above your shoulders. That'll make you not look at the ball. On this drill, what you're focused on is dribbling a ball above your head against the wall so therefore, you're not looking at the ball that you're dribbling on the ground. Gotta have your head up. This is a great drill to learn how to dribble with your head up. Cooper's pretty, pretty ambidextrous. But again, there's always gonna be a drill that will challenge even the most ambidextrous player. Again, this is a drill, it's called the hack drill that is harder than the game. In the game, you can't foul, but we want practice, we want it to be aggressive so you're ready for any, any defense that's thrown at you. Here it goes, the hack drill, go. You're gonna hack, hand. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. Going the other way. The CR shooting drill is a drill from longtime junior college coach Bill Treglon. This drill really helps on keeping you balanced on your shot when you are shooting off the dribble from the three point line extended and going towards the free throw line area. Remember to try to shoot and land at the same spot. That is the hardest part. This is the Dirk Nowitzki series. If, what Dirk thinks is if you can do a 360 pivot, although you never do one in the game, but you can shoot off balance off a 360, then when you do a half pivot or a quarter pivot, you're gonna have great balance. 
so again, it's just a balanced drill that he has. 360s. Dirk Nowitzki. This is what he does in his summertime. Everyone that is 12 years and older wants to get a jump shot. So here's your shot. Start at half court and do as many frog jumps as needed to get into your mid-range shooting area. Then shoot. You have to make a certain amount to finish the drill. This reminds players to use their bigger muscles on their shot, which is their legs, not their arms. The second drill is to work on your jump shot. I have found that when I put an obstacle to blur the vision of the rim from the shooter, the natural tendency is to jump high enough above the obstacle to see the rim. So as you saw, Cooper just had a, a workout like no other workout you've seen before. Kobe Bryant doesn't call it a workout, he calls it a blackout because he goes till exhaustion. Everybody is hyped up at game time when it's tip off and the crowd is in the, in the stands. But how about at five or six in the morning when no one's there? How about if you wake up a half hour early before school to work on your game when no one's around? That is the difference between good and great. So be great today.